So in this video, I'm showing you a super long stiletto set. Uh, the actual design is inspired by Emily Yafai. Um, so I'm using the Glitter Planet pre-pinched stiletto tips. And I've used these a couple of times and a lot of people have asked me how I use them because they can be quite difficult to use. So as you can see, I've blended them before I've applied them to the natural nail because they are quite stiff. Um, so if you put them on without the filing, I find they're quite hard to fit. So if you really thin them out on that t on the well area, there is no well, but where the well would be, um, they're a lot, lot easier to stick onto the nail. Um, so then I just use a small bit of CJP gripper glue to stick them on. And you can see I'm really just pressing them and securing them onto the nail. So I size them up first and then just do the same on them all. As you can see, I've cut a little bit out. I don't want it to be too long, but I just blend and really file the end of the tip um, with my 150 grit file and then come in and stick that on. Uh, the mark you can see on my client's nail there is just some old acrylic. I did file her old set off to a very thin base. Um, so yeah, I'll just let you watch. Uh, and this is definitely a really good tip to use these tips. Uh, yeah, just file, file them, really blend them nice and thin. And they're so much more flexible when you do this and easier to apply. Uh, and if you go to the glitterplanetuk.com website and use my discount code PILGRIM10, you can get 10% off all orders. And these tips are an absolute bargain for 500 uh, the stiletto ones or the pre-pinched square ones, it's £8. That's just crazy. You do need a spare box to put them in because they don't come in a box, they just come in bags. But who cares when they're only £8? little mark on the end of my client's nail there it is a bruise that's grown out so as you can see it's at the very edge of the tip it's nearly gone And like I said, these tips don't necessarily need blending, but to, obviously to make them easy to fit, I've filed them. So I then just come in, um, just file those edges, those sidewalls, to make sure they come out nice and straight. Just smooth off the tip a little bit, and then just file the rest of the tip, sort of to blend it in with the first bit of blending that I did, just so it's nice and even uh, and ready for your application.
I then apply my CJP acid primer to all the nails and I will then come in with a thin base layer of CJP crystal glass just to give me something to file back to when my client comes back in for a redesign. So onto my design, this nail is sort of a cut out sort of design. So I apply a bead of CJP Birthday Suit uh, in the same way that I'd apply a smile line, just not as high up um, and just really neaten that edge, build that wall because I will be filing the edge of this bead to butt another colour up to it. So just really neaten that wall with the tip of your brush. And then on this nail, I'll be doing a full proper smile line um, for a coloured tip. So because these tips are really, really long, I apply the bead quite high up. Um, so like a nice long nail bed. So apply it in your reverse method. Blend that bead into the natural nail so you get no lines or shadowing when you apply your cuticle bead. And then just neaten up the wall. You want something to butt your colour up to. And again, I will be filing this bead, filing the wall. So you need to make sure you build it with the tip of your brush, really neaten it up and get that shape that you want with your brush. So you don't have as much work to do with your file. And then coming with my cuticle bead. So I'm building the apex with this color. So I apply quite a large bead at the cuticle Push it into that cuticle area and get your brush behind it to make sure it's nice and flush and you've not got no step or anything like that. Uh, and keep checking the nail from all angles. Just keep neatening up that wall, making sure it's nice and smooth um, and check that your apex is in there. And then you can add any more powder if you need to. Add more beads like I do here just to build that apex. And you need really good structure and strength with nails of this length. If you don't get it right, they will just snap off. So on this nail, I did a coloured ombre. So at the cuticle area, I come in with a colour that I mixed myself using CJP pomegranate and CJP loganberry. So I apply that at the cuticle, getting my brush right behind the bead and then blending it up into that tip. I then come in with my next colour, which is, again, CJP Pomegranate. Uh, this was mixed still with Loganberry, but not quite as much. So I wanted it to be more red. Um, and Pomegranate has got a slight shimmer to it, so I wanted to keep that in there. Uh, the first colour was more Loganberry than um, Pomegranate. So I just apply that and blend it into my first colour making sure it's nice and even, there's no harsh lines. And they are quite similar colours, but when the top coat's on, you can tell the slight difference. I then come in with a glitter that I mixed myself. It was using a rose gold glitter from Glitterati out of the rose gold stack, mixed with a copper glitter that was also from 
glitterati. I apply it in sort of a S shape, uh, starting in the middle and then taking it round the cuticle and up to the tip and then just blend it out so it's not too harsh, you've got no harsh lines. I'll then cap this whole nail in crystal glass. So I apply quite a large bead at the cuticle uh, and then push it back into that cuticle, getting all that glitter covered and then walking that bead down the nail with the belly of my brush. Uh, like I said before, you just need to keep checking your nail from all angles to make sure your apex is in the right place and you've got plenty of strength for nails of this length. As you can see, I tilt the nail to the side and check it from that angle so I can kn I know um, then if I need to add any more clear on there to get that nice apex. I then come in with my 150 grit file and neaten up that wall, make sure it's nice and crisp and sharp so I've got something to butt my colour up to uh, and when I'm happy I'll then remove all the dust. So I then come in with CJP Loganberry and butt that up to the wall. It doesn't matter too much if you go over that wall because when I file at the end uh, it'll all be revealed and it'll be nice and crisp. So I apply a bit more than I need and then I push the colour up to the wall so it's all the same height. When you look from the side angle, there's no dip where the birthday suit ends and the Loganberry starts. So you want it all nice and smooth and flowing coming out from the cuticle area um, and then just neaten it up like you did with the first bead so you've got that nice wall to butt your next colour up to. So I then come in to onto my smile line nail again with my 150 grit file holding it flat against that wall at a 90 degree angle just really neatening it up making it nice and sharp and crisp look down the barrel of the nail to make sure the wall is even all the way around I then come in with a colour that I did mix myself using CJP pumpkin pie I mixed with a tiny tiny bit of vamp and a tiny bit of pomegranate literally the tiniest little amounts of those colors um, just to make it more of a, a burnt orange sort of color rather than a, a brighter orange um, so I apply that up to my wall doesn't matter again if you go over it because it will be revealed when I file I then come in with my pomegranate and loganberry mix, the one that had more pomegranate in. Uh, apply that at the tip and then blend that back into the orange colour. Just making sure it's nice and neat and nice and smooth. come in with a glitter mix of again the rose gold glitter from Glitterati and a, just a fine gold glitter mix. Just applying that over the two colours, not too full and just following it round that smile line but just so you can still see the two colours through the glitter, it just adds a bit more to the nail. I then just cap the tip area, so going up to my wall, making sure the clear is nice and blended in. There's no sort of step between the birthday suit and the clear, uh, and just cap that free edge. I did build my apex with the birthday suit, so I don't need to cap that area.
and then come in and file that Loganberry wall that I built up the same as I file the smile line make sure it's nice and crisp I then come in with birthday suit, the pumpkin pie mix and the pomegranate mix. Apply them really wet beads and then come in with the tip of my brush, holding my brush at a 90 degree angle and marble those colours together. So if you can cut little bits out if you like, as when you apply clear on top of this, it will add to the effect. Um, so just sort of pat it into place, not too much because you don't want the colours to merge together. And then do the same at the tip, just coming in with those really wet beads and then marbling and swirling them all together. I then come in with a fine glitter mix of a copper glitter and a gold glitter, just the super fine glitters. Again, I think the copper is from Glitterati and I think the gold is from Glitter Planet. So I just apply those up to that wall. So with the marbling, I didn't apply that right up to the wall. I left sort of a bit of a ledge in between. So I could apply the glitter up to it and then cap in crystal glass. So just neaten up that glitter with your brush, with some monomer on your brush. So on this nail I apply a wash of the rose gold and copper glitter that I mixed. Just a really thin layer, picking up a really tiny bead of crystal glass and then dipping into that glitter and just literally sort of painting it on the nail. Um, I don't want to add too much bulk. And then come in with the Glitter Fairy uh, mirror shards afterwards. So yeah, just applying, just moving and pushing that glitter where I want and then come in with the mirror shards, picking up a tiny bead of crystal glass again and just dipping into those shards, placing it on the nail and then pushing and placing them where I want with the tip of my brush. And once I'm happy with where all that is placed, I then come in with some tiny little pieces of copper leaf you can't really see them in the video because the glitters are so shiny um, but once the design was finished you could see that copper leaf against those glitters. So I then come back and cap this nail in crystal glass and because I've built my apex with the birthday suit and the loganberry I just butt my clear up to the loganberry so over the glitter and then just onto the loganberry and then just pull that clear down the nail with the belly of my brush. And then come onto this nail line cap, the entire thing in crystal glass. So as you can see, I apply a really large bead of the crystal glass 
push it into the cuticle and then walk down the nail with my belly, the belly of my brush. Um, just checking the nail as always from all angles just to make sure your apex is in the right place. Uh, and when you're capping glitter, you'll know if it's all capped when the glitter goes matte. If there's still any little shiny bits, then they're the bits that you've missed. So on the thumbnail, I come in with Birthday Suit, the Pomegranate Mix and Loganberry and the same marbling technique as I did before. Um, so again, really wet beads, then get my brush to a really nice sharp point, come in at 90 degrees and just pull those colours through, swirl them together. Again, don't play or pat too much because this will affect your marble. You don't want them to blend into just a mush of colour. You want to see all the swirls of colour through the nail. Uh, people say they have been struggling with this method. The key is just not to mess with it too much. It doesn't matter whether it's lumpy or bumpy because you will cap in crystal glass. It doesn't need to be smooth at this point. I then come in with some copper leaf, just applying little pieces randomly on that nail. Then cap the whole nail in crystal glass um, using my big boy brush so it does allow you to pick up really big beads, perfect for capping nails of this length. So onto my filing, it is always the same on every set um, and I just want to apologise for the quality of these last few clips. Uh, my phone did run out of battery um, as I finished my acrylic application so I used my client's phone um, which is supposed to be a better phone than mine but for some reason the quality of the video is not as good as mine. Uh, you can still see obviously what I'm doing but it's just not as great quality so I just wanted to explain that before I got any comments telling me. Um, my, like I said my filing technique is the same. I start with my side walls, make sure the nail comes out straight from that natural nail from the finger uh, and then refine the sides and the free edge. 
come round one side wall, round the cuticle and then up the opposite side wall and then down the barrel of the nail. Um, I just keep checking the nail from all angles to make sure it, the apex is in the right place. Uh, and of nails of this length, you do need to support the nail as you're filing. Otherwise, you might catch the nail as you're doing it because they are quite long. You don't want to hurt your client at all. Um, so like I say, just keep checking where your apex is. It should be in the back third of the nail. Uh, you need quite a high apex on this set, quite deep. Um, and then it needs to sort of come up, up to your apex and then out sort of straight to the tip. So it's nice and quite thin at the tip. Um, if your apex is not in the right place with nails of this length especially, they will just break. Your client won't get any wearability out of them. They won't really last that long if your apex is not right. So I will just let you watch. And if you want to see a better video of my filing of nails of this length, um, you can go on to my Christmas design set that I did. Um, I did the nails the same length using the same tips. So you can see, you'll be able to see it a bit better quality. But like I say, if you watch all my other videos, my filing technique is exactly the same. You just need to support the nail more when they're this length. And then remove all the dust and wipe over with isopropyl alcohol. I then come in with some Swarovski crystals. So using my CJP gripper glue and my crystal katana, just applying a tiny dot of glue um, and just applying these crystals onto the nail. I get my crystals from a variety of places, um, crystal parade, crystal and glass beads and a lot off eBay as well. So just applying the large gold stone in the middle surrounding them with copper stones then the red stone and a copper stone at the end just sort of following the design my client did bring a few different pictures we kind of put them together um, and applying some crystals on this nail in sort of an s sort of shape in a way starting at one side of the cuticle going sort of round up the nail to the tip just applying a mixture of different colours, the copper ones, different sizes, some red ones, some orangey ones, that sort of match and complement this set. Um, so I will just let you watch this bit.
So I then come in with my CJP Tech Free Top Gloss, applying a nice thin layer, making sure you've covered all that nail. And on the crystal nails, go up to the crystals and seal them in. Don't go over them because it will dull the shape and the shine of them. They won't look right. I then cure in my Sun 6 LED lamp for 60 seconds. And then when the nails come out of the lamp, just allow them to cool for a minute or two before you apply your cuticle oil. Um, so if you don't, it can dull the shine of that top coat. And here's your finished look. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed doing this set.